hurt her. That, that was my knee. That was my knee. That was my knee. That was my knee. <laughs> But first, shout out of the day. Thank you so much for watching our show and sharing it. Please tell everybody. Please, thank you. I get wow. wow. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I feel vulnerable dude. now. I felt so safe behind those sunglasses. My pupils just went <laughs> If you haven't gotten the reference already, we're talking about Mission Impossible. The third one is coming out. Girl. I live in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> the sixth edition of Mission Impossible, which mm -hmm. weirdly makes me sad that it's the sixth one. No, dude, it looks awesome. Did you just turn to a 13-year-old boy? I don't know, something <laughs> about these Ray-Bans and this like frat boy pink is really messing with my head. It's called Mission Impossible Fallout. I think it's like getting really good reviews. It has a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes already. It comes out July 27th, so basically tomorrow. We were inspired by how, you know, how amazing this franchise is and Tom Cruise in general. I think he is like the epitome action star. He does all of his own stunts. Yeah, he and he runs in every single movie he's ever Ever been in. And his Twitter bio says like running in movies since like 1985 or something. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, he's got a, it seems like he's self-aware. His first movie was in 1981 called Endless Love. Ooh. And then this inspired by Risky Business, mm -hmm. 1983. He's been famous like since, since before we were born. I know. Now this is probably a question you get a lot. Is Goose my dog named, named after named Top Gun? After? No, she's named after like touching butts. Like we said, Tom Cruise does his own stunts. So Apparently he broke his ankle doing stunts in this most recent Mission Impossible. Matt Carpenter is a major fan of this franchise. Yeah. And is very excited to let us know that hey, before. Tom. <laughs> oh, oh, Tom. He ran through the shot with a broken ankle after Stop he it. broke it. Wow. He also learned how to fly a helicopter so that all the scenes of him flying a helicopter weren't green screen, they were authentic and real and they strapped all these cameras on. So he's like actually doing all of this. This is how I assume you fly a helicopter. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's such a liability. Like if you were making a movie and you're like, Cruise. by the way, our star risks his life. Like, What's well, risky business? Oh. <laughs> I got one. You, you nailed it. I'm so proud. <laughs> We thought we would try to get into the mindset of Tom Cruise and do some of his most famous stunts. We are a liability, yeah. so we're gonna do some of the less dangerous stunts that Tom Cruise has done throughout his years. We're calling this cruising for a bruising. I don't know. Cruise stunts. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah it's the cruising for a bruising challenge. Yeah, we are going to go head to head in a series of five very mundane Tom Cruise related physical challenges. <laughs> and then we're gonna see via Mark, which of us have completed the challenge better than the other? What's our first challenge? The Risky Business Floor Slide. Ooh, Ooh. a classic. Just take those old records off the shelf. Ready? Yeah. Do I get music? No. No, we don't have the rights. Okay. Oh, wow. It's a, dang. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. That was my knee. That was my knee. That was my knee. That was my knee. That was. These are supposed to be safe challenges. No, no, no. Well, let's get some more. Let's get them all out. Oh my God. <laughs> Mission completed. Grace, I thought you came in unsteady like a drunken toddler. Yep. Mamie really captured the suave and cool element that is endemic to risky business. So I have to give that to me. Thank there. you. There. Okay, round two. <laughs> terrifying and you both looked completely out of control during the entire time. Thank you. At times you both looked like you were having fun for a few seconds, so that's very good. But Mamie did actually complete a catch. So two, I have to give it to you. Three. Fair. Three. Fair. Fair. Challenge number three. Let's go. Okay, I see. Maybe we'll 
each just do like a really sexy bump set spike. That sounded more complicated than easy, but oh. okay. <laughs> I had to do the... Ooh, oh, they don't really do that in volleyball. This thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Whoa, she's doing her own slow-mo. That's not fair. <laughs> Very uh, not sensual, uh -huh. but um, I could tell you guys had fun. But I really liked Grace's volleyball spin on the finger, yeah, which is an iconic shot from that scene. So I got to give that one to Grace. Thank you, thank you. We're on to round four. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. I sometimes just attach a gif of this to emails to my agents. He, he did this weird like, show me the money! Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me the money! I feel like wow. you guys were both at 50% for that. Tom Cruise does it all, he commits 100%. Are you an acting coach? <laughs> <laughs> Half a point for both. Okay, okay we'll take it. We'll take okay. it. We'll so take it. We've got one more challenge, challenge number five. Have you ever felt this way? No. Yes! So, nice. you can do that. We're gonna do that. That's why you're here. Would you like to go first or second? I'm terrified. Of jumping? Backwards. <laughs> Charm! <laughs> That's my Oprah. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get SNL. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Grace really captured the insanity I feared for my personal safety. So I think that means it's 2.5 to 2.5. So you both have to share a DVD of Tom Cruise's 2017 The Mummy. I'll take it Monday through Thursday. Go. I don't think we give Tom Cruise enough credit. Those are very difficult. And those are his more mundane um, activities. Today's gratitude problem comes from Pippa Carlisle Price, and they made a paper cut. Thank you so much for this, Pippa Carlisle Price. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. We're here hanging out with you, and next time I'll wear pants. Or not. I never know. <laughs>